In this example problem, we're told that an oven has a heating element with a resistance of 15 ohms. So let's write that down. This is some of our given information. Resistance is 15 ohms. And we're told the voltage is 120 volts. That's the standard voltage in a household electrical outlet, at least in the United States. And we're asked, how many joules of heat can the oven produce in 30 minutes? Well, let's see. We know R and V, so one thing immediately comes to mind. We can find I, the current, using Ohm's law. So let's do that. 120 volts divided by 15 ohms. We're just taking Ohm's law, solved for I, I is V over R, and we do that calculation and we get 8 amps. So the current is 8 amps. Now the time, we're told, or we're told to find how many joules of heat it can produce in 30 minutes. So the time is 30 minutes, which is 1,800 seconds, using our standard unit of seconds there. So then the heat produced, you could say Q for heat or H for heat. It's going to be I squared R times T. And we know I is 8 amps, so that's 8 amps squared. We know the resistance is 15 ohms. And we know the time, we'll put in the time in seconds, 1800 seconds. And we just pull out the calculator and do the math, and it comes out to 1,728,000 joules. And that sounds like an awfully high number. Just remember that one joule is a pretty small amount of energy. In this example, we're told to find the heat produced by a 75 watt, 120 volt light bulb if it is left on for 10 hours. So basically, a typical lamp that you might have in your living room, 75 watts, plugged into a 120 volt electrical outlet, and you leave it on overnight. How much heat is produced? Give your answer in joules. Okay, well, we, we're given the, the power, or, yeah, the, yeah, the power right there, we're given the, the voltage, we're given the time, okay, and Joule's Law says this, Q is I squared R times T, or if we're um, dealing with electricity, we might want to use H for heat there instead of Q, doesn't really matter, we're going to do this same calculation either way. Now recognize that I squared R, that's just the power, right there, P. So I can rewrite this as P times T, and just do the calculation here. 75 watts times 10 hours, but let's write it like this. Instead of 75 watts, let's write 75 joules per second, because a watt is a joule per second. And 10 hours is 36,000 seconds. And that way the seconds cancel and we're left with joules. 75 times 36,000 comes out to 2,700,000 joules. That's how much energy is being used up by one light if you leave it on overnight. And again, a joule isn't a tremendously large amount of energy, but still something to keep, keep in mind when it's sitting there burning through 75 joules per second for 10 hours, it uses up a decent amount of energy over time. Next example, to toast bread, a toaster needs to produce 54,000 joules of heat in 90 seconds. Find the resistance of the toaster and the current that it draws. Okay, we're going to assume standard household electricity at 120 volts. And I'm told that we need 54,000 joules of heat in 90 seconds, so I can find the power. Power is energy over time, so I'm just going to use those numbers. 54,000 joules divided by 90 seconds. That gives me joules per second, which is watts. And when I do 54,000 divided by 90, I get 600 watts. So that's the power power used by this toaster. Now I can find the resistance of the toaster and the current that it draws. 
Okay, the resistance, I can say R is V squared over P. This was one of my equations for power. You might remember we had three equations for power. P equals IV, P equals I squared R, and P equals V squared over R. I just took this equation and solved it for R and got that. And that allows me to calculate the resistance because I already know V and P. That's these numbers right here. So I just put in 120 volts and don't forget to square that divided by 600 watts and R comes out there. 120 squared divided by 600 is 24 and that's 24 ohms. And we're also told to find the current that it draws. Well, again, my equations for power, one of those was P equals IV. So I can just solve this for I, the current. I is going to be P over V. And I know that 600 watts was my power. And I'm assuming 120 volts here. So I just divide. 600 divided by 120 comes out to 5, and that would be 5 amps. So those are my answers, 24 ohms for the resistance and 5 amps for the current. And one more example, a 120 volt hair dryer draws 12 amps of current. Find the heat produced in one minute. Well, the voltage is 120 volts and we're told that the current is 12 amps. So find the heat produced in one minute. Well I know power is simply I times V and I'm given both of those numbers. So P is IV, that's 12 amps times 120 volts that comes out to 1440 watts. Then the heat produced in one minute, the energy, I can say energy is power times time. So that's going to be 1440 watts times one minute. But let's write it like this. A watt is a joule per second. So instead of writing 1440 watts, write it with that unit, joules per second. And then instead of one minute, write 60 seconds and then you can see the seconds cancels out and you're left with 1440 times 60 which is 86,400 joules that's the amount of heat produced in one minute if you needed to you could convert that to calories but we're not told to do that we'll just leave the answer in joules